be the right club today. Yes! All right, so here we go. This is the uh, the match that uh, Scott wanted. So we're playing Greedenwood Country Club. I'm giving him 10 strokes. So five on each side. We're going to be doing match play. Um, I think 10 strokes are... It's going to be close. If he plays well, um, I think it's going to be close. The... It's not a terribly hard course. The tricky part with this course has always been the greens and around the greens. So the greens can play fast. Uh, they can play slow. It all depends on we've had a little bit of rain, so they're going to be a little sticky in the beginning, and then they're going to dry out. Uh, around the greens is the other problem with this because they tend to hold water really, really, you know, so it could get... A little dicey with the chipping in the bunker game. So um, just waiting for him to show up and uh, we're going to get out and do it. Driver's been sometimes cut, sometimes drawn. So you're going to get five strokes aside. We'll just do it that way. We'll play each hole as a match play. Um, so we're all square because we pushed one. You had a bogey net par and I had a par. Very nice. I learned how to do that from watching you. <laughs> from you! I learned it from watching you! Yeah, this one's pretty open. It plays long because it's uphill um, to the left. But I think you aim, you see the 150 out there, right? Yeah. Yeah, you just aim at that with the cut and you're, there's not a lot of bad places you can get into. Left is, is the bad. Right.
El Perfecto. It's a really pretty ball flight. It'll be findable, but... I the trap. Yeah, it's going to play pretty even. It won't play down or anything. I hit that rather poorly. If I went home right now, I'd be pretty proud of <laughs> most of my tee shots so far. Keep turning. Did it kick it back out? Yeah, it's all the way out in the middle. <laughs> oh. Alright, well you're chipping for bogey. You got a stroke. I've already three putted on the first par five, so you know, you got a chance. All those areas around the green, the fans, they're still wet. Yeah. You can't. You have to almost use more, you gotta use more bounce and you can't dig. Well, you're still one off, I got one back on you. That hurts. Part three, 167. No strokes on this one. Yeah, but that's safe. You hit six? Five. Five. Based on the previous shots, I think it's safe. If it did go a little long, it'd be perfectly fine. Yeah. That was clean. Ooh, be good. Can I? Yep. Should be putting. <laughs> Come back. Let's try and
tried to turn. Yeah. Chip in a two putt from right there. It's one of those things you can always chip it a little closer, but I didn't. Putt was really good, but not quite hard enough. It's always something, those little things. Well, stroke you here, no, stroke there. No green to work with, really. When you're basically we're chipping. It was completely chip. mud. It was soggy mud uh, where I chipped out of. That looks pretty good. Even going through nine. I, I feel like it's everyone has a blow up hole, and if you don't, you're not taking drop penalties. You know what I mean? Like, if someone says, Oh, no, I never have a blow up hole, then they're just a flat out liar and they don't take penalties. They're like, Okay, yep, yeah, uh, well, it's white steak, but I'm gonna hit it out and it's fine, or that other shit. But you're gonna have at least one. Double, triple. Everyone else is just lying. Yep. Lying to themselves. He said you got 165. Generosity. Yeah, pars on nine are good. Even, it says it's the 13th hardest hole, but I don't know if I agree with that. The scorecard guy was drunk. Well, it's been uh, death by Nerf bats, so we're even going into the back. Well, my scoring mistakes haven't really been in the fairway. So. And that's that's usually where this course will get you is around the greens. Because the greens are just odd. We're on 10 now. Yeah. yeah. That is... Stay there. You liked my spot that well, huh? Man, this is gonna be a long time. So here's the deal. Even starting on 10 now. Scott just had this unbelievable shot out of the trees to get him to the side of the green over here. He's got a tough flop shot. There's a ridge just past this pin that... Oh. 
It's not bad. You're on the right level. this for the push. I mean, that straight works too. Yep. Oh, it's cutting in nice. Jump. Yeah. It's another one. It came off. It felt like it came off a little thin. Just a little low. Well, you won that hole. Yeah, but I've been going first anyway, so I didn't know if you cared. Oh, no, I don't care. No one's making any birdies around here, clearly. I want to kill you. Very nice. It's looking good. Oh. Yeah. All right. So you're putting par. You're putting birdie. And you get a stroke. On the left side. Not bad. Where'd it land? Over. Oh, it went over. Oh, yeah. No, that's not it. Right there on the right. Scott is just front. I um, am going to be over in that guy's bedroom, I think. Got some green to work with. Luckily, it's all downhill. Towards the pin. So, Scott, hole 13 going into 14 is I finally am one up. Uh, How does that make you feel? Like I have work to do. You got, pretty, pretty you, of holes. the next five holes, you have three that you stroke on. <laughs> I mean, it is right on it. Be there. Look how short that is. Yeah. What did you hit? Eight. That is perfect. Get it. Good shot. Oh, 
It's fine. That's not going to hurt you at all. It'll give you right around 150 in. So that was well struck. It's. Yeah, well, you'll practice those shots. You don't know how far they go. The things have gotten out of hand. We're on 18. We were tied through 12. Since then I've taken the last five. So I'm five up going into 18. Scott's stroking on this hole so hopefully he can get one back. Par five, uh, 519 yards. We'll see what happens. That's good out. Between those two. I couldn't have done that any better. No. Got about 65 yards for Scott. Coming in good. Nice shot. Just got it. Nice put. Sandy. Oh. So that was interesting. It uh Scott played really good T to green. Um what I thought was gonna happen was gonna happen. It's the the chipping and the putting. The greens will get you. I have seen people get on the green in regulation and walk off there with bogey or worse up to double. Um, you get in greenside bunkers cause they're really hard, uh, going into fast greens. That is, it's tough. Um, but all in all, in comparison, um, Scott played really well. His driving was good. His approach shots were good. He was leaving a lot short. Um, but I think, again, that goes to, like, the fairway turf was a little bit wetter than normal. So you're not getting that quite crisp turf interaction that I think that you normally would get, um, which tends to get it a little higher on the face. You get those lofty ones that really just kind of plummet out of the sky like a dying quail and don't quite get your distance. So I think that hit him a couple times. But off the tee, he was doing great. Um, I think maybe... Those last six holes, it's it was just roll of the dice. I had good lies. I made putts. I got it on the green, um, and he was just struggling a little bit around the green. So any other given day, I think that um, this match probably goes to the last two holes uh, for the win. So I'm just going to chalk this one up for course knowledge for me. It was the first time he was playing it, so I kind of knew what was happening. Um, so, 
Yeah, well, I mean, good game, Scott. Next time, we'll see what happens. So this was one of our first matches that we've done. We typically do shorts on the page because this is just a lot of work to go through and do this, especially since we have full-time jobs, and uh, that's how that goes. So uh, if you liked it, comment, hit a like, let us know if you liked it, or if you just like us going to shorts. Uh, it was fun doing this. We've got scrambles and stuff that we can do with our group, so um, can always switch it up a little bit. So let us know below. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Shoot you out.